Weed of the Week is Pennsylvania Smartweed. And Darren, I don't know why they call us Pennsylvania Smartweed. They could call it South Dakota Smartweed because we have all kinds of it on our farm too. Well, when we were kids, we just called it waterweed because where we would find it in the fields is in areas of poor drainage, the low-lying parts of the field, or along a grass waterway, or along a ditch. Now, there are several different kinds of smartweed, and you said Pennsylvania smartweed, right. so let's distinguish that from ladies' thumb and from swamp smartweed. Swamp smartweed is a perennial weed. It's very hairy, and you'll see it has rhizomes below the ground. With ladies' thumb, on each leaf, you'll see a little purplish colored impression that looks about like a thumbprint on each leaf. And Pennsylvania smartweed doesn't have that, and it has smooth stems. And it's just an annual weed, this Pennsylvania smartweed. So that's really the good news. You get it under control this year, keep it from going to seed. You're in pretty good shape long term. Well, the big thing is just getting after it. Like you say, if it's an annual weed, you can't let the thing go to seed. So we'll start with a pre-emerge herbicide program. In corn, for example, I really like Verdict. That's been nice in the burn down and also controlling it a little bit into the season. Yeah, post-emerge in corn, I like Status. That's gonna be the best thing. You could throw a little atrazine with it as well. In soybeans, I like the three pre-emerge program that we've been using to fight resistant weeds. I especially like Metribuzin in the mix as a helper for Smartweed, but then post-emerge, if you're using conventional herbicides, I like Pursuit or Raptor. Otherwise, Roundup and Liberty both do an excellent job. Well, that's it for our Weed of the Week, Pennsylvania Smartweed, but stay tuned, Iron Talk is coming up next.